When children start secondary school, it matters much more to them what their friends think of them than what their parents, their families think of them. Whereby before the family is very important, you know, mother and father, and I'm sure they still are, I hope they are, but I think friends become more important, social networks. Because children want to be independent, they're going to show their independence in lots of different ways and they might, for example, dress very differently. They might make demands on clothes that we don't approve of. They might suddenly change their hairstyle quite dramatically or wear jewellery or want to have piercings and things that we might find quite uncomfortable or disapprove of. One of the key things that I think you would probably want to worry about is amongst education make sure they, they don't fall into that category of crowd of people or young peers who are quite likely to, with a bad influence, get them to do otherwise. It's important to recognise that it is a difficult time for young people and we need to think about developing strategies so we can support them through that. Parents can help with the pressure that their teens and preteens feel by being supportive in a way that isn't overbearing, which isn't controlling, and also isn't personally attacking. The most unhelpful thing to do is to react with just an outburst or a telling off, because very often what kids need is a good listening to, not a good talking to. Help your child to learn how to make decisions. Good decision making skills mean that they're less likely to let others make decisions for them. Sometimes they will make the wrong decision. It's important then to sit and listen and talk about it. Choose your battles carefully. There's so many things that we can go on about as parents, but let some things go and make an issue of the things that really matter. If the school friends are good and they're not doing anything wrong, then you get to know them at that age, what kind of friends they've got. And if they're okay, then obviously you don't want to comment on that. But if they were behaving badly, then obviously naturally I would go out and do something about it. I said, that's the wrong friend, you don't want to hang around with him, find somebody else. I would hope that what we have taught them as they were growing up, be yourself, you know, don't let anybody bully you if they're not friendly to you. Well, you know, maybe you need to look at another uh, friend. I try to tell them that people are going to be different in terms of character, belief and culture. So don't, don't be fazed by your peer pressuring you to do something that they like because that's not their view. Your view or your own ideas of things is, is, is what makes you. It's important to recognise that peer pressure isn't all negative, it's something that we all experience and it can be incredibly positive. For example, you might want your child to take part in sports and healthy activities and if they're swayed to do that because of their friends, then that's incredibly helpful. So peer pressure can work two ways, positive and negative. <laughs>